Hi and welcome into this video. We're finding least common multiple but you were using the prime factor method. Now the idea is that we're going to take each of these numbers 12, 28, and 14 and we're going to make a prime factor tree out of each one of them. We're going to find their prime factors. So 12 can be broken up as 3 times 4. Notice that the 3 is a prime number, so we circle it. And let's break apart the 4 one more step. That, of course, is 2 times 2. Both 2's are prime. And now over on the left, we're going to write those prime factors in order from the smallest to the largest. So 12, of course, is made up of 2 times 2 times 3. All right, next number is 28. Let's write it as a product of prime factors. So 28, of course, could be written in a lot of pairs of factors, but let's go with 4 times 7. 7 is prime and 4 is not, so let's break apart 4 again, and that will be 2 times 2. Write it in order to the left, and that would give us 2 times 2 times 7. All right, now 14, yes, we could make a prime factor tree out of it, but that's something we can do in our head, and there's only one combination of prime factors, that is, and that's 2 times 7. Now, the goal here for least common multiple is to be able to look in each row and find its largest group of each prime factor. Okay, we're looking horizontally here. So in the list, I have 2s, 3s, and sevens. Let's look at the twos first. Notice that I have a pair of twos and a pair of twos and a single two in each of those rows. So I circle the pair of twos. It doesn't matter which one. I'll go ahead and grab these right here. And since I've taken care of all the two factors, I cross out all the other twos that are found everywhere else. So as part of my answer, I'm going to go ahead and write down a pair of twos. All right. That's the largest group of twos in any one row. Then, of course, I have a three. Let's go ahead and circle the three, and that's the only one there. And so that becomes part of my list, a single three. Then I notice there's a single seven for the 28 row and a single seven for the 14 row. Let's grab one of them. It doesn't matter which one. I'll go ahead and circle this one right here and cross the other one out because we've already taken care of it. So notice that my answer is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. To get the least common multiple, you multiply it all back together. Remember, the least common multiple is the lowest number that contains all the factors of 12, 28, and 14. And that, of course, is 84. Now let's look at our next example down below. It's 30, 45, 15, and 6. We've got to find the prime factors of every number. And so we're going to start with 30, and that's 5 times 6. But 6 is actually 2 times 3. Again, we're looking just for the prime factor numbers when we're done. Write it in order. That's 2 times 3 times 5. Now think about 45. What makes 45? Well, let's try 5 times 9. Okay, 5 is a prime number, so we're going to circle that. 9 is not. It may look like a prime, but remember, it's 3 times 3. Circle each of the 3s. Those are prime. And so in order, we would write 3 times 3 times 5. 15, well, yeah, we could do a prime factor tree, but I think we can figure it out that it's got to be 3 times 5. That's the only way to prime factorize 15. And 2 must be, or excuse me, 6 must be 2 times 3. All right, now again, we're looking for the largest group of each prime factor. Now, in all those lists, we have 2s, we have 3s, and we have 5s. Okay, let's start with the 2s. I see a single 2 right there and a single 2 down there and I can just choose one of them, circle it and then cross out the other one. Okay, Write a single 2 in your answer list. Then let's look at the 3's. I have a single 3 there, I have a pair of 3's there, a single 3 and a single 3. So I'm going to take the pair of 3's, that's the largest group of 3's in any one row, 
and ignore or cross out the other threes. All right, make sure you write down a pair of threes as part of your answer group. And the fives, I have a single five and a single five and a single five. Let's just grab one of them, circle it, cross out the others because we've already taken care of those, and then I add a five to my answer list. Very good. Now I put all of it together. Again, that's multiplication, so I'm going to multiply those four numbers together, and that should give me the least common multiple of those four original numbers. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 times 5 is 90. So 90 is the smallest number that contains all the factors of 30, 45, 15, and 6. All right, this is LCM using prime factors. Thanks for watching.